you have a history of uh, being involved in various progressive causes in Surrey. What goes through your mind when you see protesters accusing the city of Surrey of hosting a war criminal? Well, Charlie, um, I, uh, I understand and appreciate those opinions and I have to say that um, I've been part of those discussions in my life as well. But as I was saying to Matt, you know, I also worked for 23 years with the Writers' Union of Canada and I really believe, particularly in this day and age, uh, about the freedom of speech and the freedom of expression. I think it's really good that we learn to be thinking individuals and we're able to sort right from wrong. And I think many of us have um, some feelings about some of the participants today, um, but I'm willing to listen, but I'm also willing to make sure that I'm broad-minded enough to make uh, a judgment that's going to be in the best interests of my hopefully future decisions on council. And I will say this conference in the past has inspired me. I went to Singapore last year after attending this conference because of the dialogue that took place and uh, how well developed that city is and on what principles and I was very impressed. I brought some good ideas back from there and I'm basically looking forward to hearing Bill Clinton and the panel this morning. And what are your thoughts I about Clinton and his foundation work to help you? What are your world? thoughts about how the RCMP is dealing with the situation? Well, I think the RCMP, uh, you know, we work hand in hand with the RCMP on many events, and city events, and they off, they always have a presence. I think they have a good way of dealing with the public as long as there's fairly good cooperation. I think a lot of them are, you know, probably anticipating today, you know, a little bit nervous about it, but it's they're also looking at it as a learning experience because we're a city that's going to continue to grow just like Vancouver. Uh, Vancouver has its challenges with public gatherings as well, and we're trying to learn to deal with it so that people have a voice, but at the same time people don't feel threatened.